Watch the complete playlist on the app Pions. Download the app now. PQRS uh, is made under the conditions which are PQ has a battery of 4 volt and negligible internal resistance with positive terminal connected to P. QR has a resistance of 60 ohm. PS has a battery of 5 volt and negligible resistance with positive terminal connected to P. RS has a resistance of 200 ohm. If a milliameter of 20 ohm resistance is connected between PR, calculate the reading of the milliameter. Okay. So simply you have to find what is the current flowing across PR. Just to make it simple, let's draw a register over here. Okay. This is our register like this. Okay. So this register is connected. And what's the resistance of this register? 20 ohm. This is our circuit. Okay. So let's start with our junction rule. So let me start with the first battery, the current given by the first battery, let's say it is I1. So what is the current going back to the battery? Sir, it is I1. Current coming out of the second battery is sir I2. What is the current going back to the battery? It has to be I2. Now some water is flowing from this side, some water is flowing from this side. What will happen? P is a junction. So the current entering the junction, the current coming from this side and this side, it should be equal to the current leaving the junction. So current going in this direction. If 2 liters is coming from here and 5 liters are coming from here, what is the water going to this pipe? 2 plus 5 which is 7. So I1 plus I2 will be the current going across PR. Correct. Now I1 plus I2 is going like this. But we already know that I1 is coming from here. So what is the current going here? I1. And what is the current it should go? If I1 plus I2 is going from P to R here, I1 out of which goes down. So what is the current left to go towards R? I2. And our junction rule is done. So we are done with the junction rule. Let's move to our loop rule. So let's start with the lower loop. So I am going in the lower loop from P to R to Q and back to P. Sir, why you are going in that direction? Because I always move from positive terminal of the battery to negative terminal of the battery. Clear. So let's move from 4 volt. So here it is 4. I am going from, there is only one battery in the single loop. So 4 volt. Now I am going from P to R and current is also going from P to R. So resistance times the current I1 plus I2. Done. Now then you are going, I am going from R to Q. Current is also going from R to Q. So 60 times I1. I am going from Q to P, but there is no battery is already considered and resistance is not there. So we will skip that part. Let's simplify it. 4 equals uh, 20 I1 and 60 I1. 80 I1 plus 20 I2. Okay. This is our equation 1. Now let's take the upper loop. From upper loop, I am going from P to R to S and back to P. Is there any battery in this loop? Yes. 5 volt. I am going from P to R. Is there any resistance? Yes. 20 ohm. And what's the current flowing across that? I1 plus I2. Now I am going from R to S and current is also going from R to S. 200 into I2. And S to P, no resistance. Battery we already considered. So this is our second equation. Let's simplify it. 20 I1. 20 and that 220 I2. Equation number 2. Let's multiply the second equation with 4. 4 5s are 20. 80 I1 and 4 2s are 8. 80 880 I2. Let's subtract the equation 1. So minus 4 minus 80 I1 and minus 20 I2. This will cancel out. 20 minus 4, 16. And this will be 0. 8 minus 2, 6. 860 I2. So current I2, which is flowing in the circuit is 16 by 860. Correct. This is our current I2. Now, let's find the I1. So I am taking the first equation. 4 equals to 80 I1 plus 20 I2, correct? 20 I2. 
now what is our value of uh, this thing i2 it is 16 by 16 by 860 correct multiplied with 20 plus 80i1 equals 4 let's cancel this with this 2 43s correct so 4 equals 80i1 plus 16 upon 43 let's take the 16 by 43 on the left hand side 4 minus 16 over 43 that is equals to 80i1 let's simplify further 4 3 is a 12 4 4 is a 16 172 minus 16 upon 43 equals to 80i1 correct so 12 minus 6 12 minus 6 is 6 and here you left with 16 minus 1 156 upon 43 correct equals to 80i1 and 156 whole divided by 43 into 80 that is equals to i1 so let's multiply 43 into 80 that will give us nearly let me write here i1 is equals to 156 divided by 3440 okay you can simply multiply 8 is a 24 2 gets carried 8 4 is a 32 and 2 3 4 4 0 correct now this is our i1 let's simplify now in uh, decimals because they are huge values so let me divide 156 that will be nearly 0 0.045 ampere that's our current i1 correct and what was i2 i2 was 16 upon 860 16 upon 860 so i2 is 16 upon 860 so that will be our how much uh, 0 0.0186 okay ampere now be very careful these are in amperes but the emitter is of milliamps right so you can further write it as uh, four, uh, 450 uh, into 10 to the power you can write it as 450 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay that is our milliamps only so 45 milliamps and 18 milliamps okay you can make it like this or what is the current going through the milliamp here that will be our adding i1 plus i2 as per the diagram so current going will be i1 plus i2 so that will be 0 0.0186 plus 0. 0.045 that is our 0 0.0636 correct now sir how to convert it in milliamps okay simply if i remove this decimal what will i get i will get here how many zeros 10000 correct if i remove how there are four so you can write it like this so 636 divided by 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 correct 1 1 10 i left here and 10 to power minus 3 10 to power minus 3 is milliamps so 63.6 milliamps that's the reading of the our milliameter watch the complete playlist on the app pions download the app now